Just because I am retired doesn't mean I can cut a promo for this next pay-per-view. And this next pay-per-view... Ho ho. Every wrestler loves this pay-per-view. Not more than Mania, but they still love it because they get to fight their mortal enemy again. They get their personal hatred built up again when this pay-per-view comes. Because this pay-per-view is where people get their sweet revenge. That is our next pay-per-view, Revenge. Let's see if anyone gets some sweet revenge after this. But right now, let's cut to Kaiser and Ten backstage. Oh, we are here, and it's time to get extreme. It's time for Extreme Rules. We kick things off with a highly intense stretcher match with Jason Blade retaining the United States Championship. And now, please welcome the person who will be fighting Joe McMahon's 40 year net championship in a Singapore cane match, Lewis. Hello, see so you have Ducky by his side. Yeah, he's warming up. Yeah, I'm making go pumped up for this Singapore cane match. Yeah, I'm excited to face Joe McManus at Extreme Rules for this Singapore cane match. Yeah, it seems like Joe is, is talking about how not, how like you're not taking it seriously. Like, do you like, what's your opinion on that? Him thinking I'm not taking it seriously. <laughs> well, you know, like, I'm just here to pump up the crowd. Like, you know, I just said before, I'm pretty much the modern day Ric Flair. Yep, he's the dirtiest player in the game, pretty much. Yeah, I'm going to use all the kendo sticks and whack him down and all that stuff and just, you know, have a grand old time. And let it be known that I will become the internet champion. Yeah, Lewis, you got this. Yeah, no matter how many times Dragon Man's want to try to break me down, I will keep on rising up, and I'll keep on fighting. Yeah, let's go. Let's get some more pet. Yeah, here. This is a guy's known song. Play right now is Doing Time by Avenged Semifold, the official theme song for Extreme Rules. You can dance on iTunes or Spotify. But right now, let's get some one-on-one -on -one action for the Intercontinental Championship. Dad City versus PewDiePie. The IC Champion's gonna be on the line here. Yes, and this is originally... I don't know if this was gonna be originally, but like a dingo. Wanted to fight PewDiePie for the IC Championship. Wanted to get a rematch because he was the one who got pinned at WrestleMania. But out, hit, out came Dad City and issued a challenge to PewDiePie. And because he said that he was the one who got pinned. So now he wants a rematch against PewDiePie here at Extreme Rules. Which pretty much pissed off Endingo. And now Endingo wants to be next in line after this match. He doesn't care who wins. Either Dad City or PewDiePie. He wants to become the Intercontinental Champion. But here comes now the former Intercontinental Champion, Dad City. Yeah, and Dad C wanted to get this shot for the Econo Championship and took an Endingo's place. And now here comes the new Econo Champion, PewDiePie. This is pretty much his second time holding the IC Championship. Not like he used the uh, first ever Econo Champion here at SME Wrestling. Now here he is going for a second run here. Hopefully this will, hoping that this one will be better. And um yeah, PewDiePie, what a victory he had at Mania. Like, that was his big WrestleMania moment, claiming the IC Championship. And now here he is, going for his first title defense here against one of his opponents at Mania. Because it was a true threat match at Mania. He's going up against Dad City, because I don't know if he's avoiding PewDiePie or does not want... No, sorry, if he's avoiding Endingo, if he's like Duncan Endingo. And he doesn't want to give a ding in the match here. But instead, he gives it to Dad C. Because Dad C, he wasn't the one who got pinned. And Dad C was the Unicorn of Champion at Mania. So, yes, yeah, so Dad City, he wants to uh, get a chance to beat PewDiePie here. 
And uh, as for Andingo, we all know he's waiting to see who wins this match here so he can go on the face whoever it is, PewDiePie or Dad City. He wants to go after the IC Championship here. And PewDiePie is right now getting in the ring. Let's get this match started. Here we go. IC Championship on the line here between Dad City and PewDiePie. PewDiePie almost got distracted right there. But now these two are getting to lock up here. PewDiePie going after the arm of Dad City. And shall wretch down the arm because Dad City finally fight back. Oh no, PewDiePie is just leaving more pain onto the arm right there and continues doing it. But Dad City breaks free from it. And we're getting back to lock. Once again, PewDiePie is going after the arm of Dad City. But Dad City counters back and he gives up PewDiePie an arm lock right there. Finally fires back, but not PewDiePie gets out of it. And oh, he puts Dad City in the headlock now. Getting the headlock cinched in, but Dad City just pushed away. PewDiePie avoid. Whoa, no, he saw that coming. He saw the nicely the trick coming. And back to the locker, but PewDiePie pushing Dad City into the ropes here. And Ref asks for a clean break between these two. And oh, for those sneaky strike, but no, PewDiePie does not go for something. But oh, PewDiePie catches Dad City. Hitting a belly to belly right there. It's PewDiePie hitting the first big move. Now, this is just a normal one-on-one -on -one match here, so no crazy stipulation for this match here, but still we'll get we'll get those type of matches soon enough here at Extreme Rules. Right now, we're right now experiencing a technical masterpiece, I hope, for this match between Dad City and PewDiePie. As Dad, PewDiePie escapes the headlock of Dad City, and as Dad City slowly pick up Pewds, but PewDiePie with the arm drag right there onto Dad City. And as PewDiePie pick up Dad City, going for Irish whip to the ropes here, and I'll drop down. And uh, Leapfrog, what's people calling for here? Elbow shot, no, that did not happen. And now here comes Dad City with the Twitter Whirly DDT right there. And people try to escape from the outside ring to avoid Dad City's stomp. Oh, these two both missed their strikes. Oh, fuck, what's going on here? But I don't know what the hell just happened right there, but Dad City just slipped. And the people are like, oh no, count by Dad City. And Dad City hitting the strikes, combos and combinations. Big shot hook, no. People are like, out of the way right there. He blocked the strike. And he hits Dad City with the clothesline right there. And oh, this is a bit disrespectful of Pew, just stomping the face of Dad City. And now he's going for a headbutt. No, no, Dad City blocked it, hits an elbow strike onto PewDiePie. And Dad City clotheslines PewDiePie to the outside. And oh, now he's taunting. Now he's going to do a taunt right there. Now he's going to be disrespectful to Pew. And we're taking this to the outside here. And unfortunately, there is a can out in this match here. So hopefully this match will not end by shitty can now. As people try to do strikes on the Dad C, but Dad C blocked it. Don't big cook, no. That people in the can right there again. And now as people set up for Dad C. Oh no, he's slamming his face onto the apron right there. And he get back in soon enough again to lock him outside again, but Dad C with the can right there. And now he's going for, oh shit, going for Russian legs. Oh god, a lot Russian legs feet onto the outside. Pewdiepie's head almost hitting the apron. And on the count six, and Dassey puts Pewdiepie back in the ring right there. And count seven, thankfully this match is not end by shitty counter right there. As uh, Dassey just now st stalking the current champion Pewds as people try to get back up. Strike, no, he missed completely. And here comes Pewdiepie going for Irish strip to the ropes. And then once again, drop down. Okay, go with Sun Leap for what's it called over here? Oh, what a spine buster by Pewdiepie. I believe this is the first cover of the match right here, but it's just only a two count. Just only a two count. Now Pewdiepie looking taunting again. Big feel of fabulous kick to the gut, but Dassey got the way right there. Oh, once again, hook to the ribs. And now it's going for Iron Shroom into the corner. And now big, big close on into the corner there. And that's Pewdiepie all down and out. And then doll head crank by Dassey. Now just. Going after the neck of PewDiePie, just cranking the neck of Pewds, and he's slamming his head down as well. Now this dog oh gun, Dad C, now he's been ferocious, punching the hell out of PewDiePie right there. Now just slowly picking up Pewds, coming over, someone's gonna call for here, picking him up, and he's coming for Russian leg sweep this time on the inside of the ring, so it's less painful for Pewds, but still it fucking hurts. Now Dad C just walking around PewDiePie. Ball right, PewDiePie, tell PewDiePie hits a drop breaker on the Dad Seat right there, and a kick to the gut. And I send up Dad Seat. Oh, what a neck breaker by PewDiePie. Now, PewDiePie, look at him taunting right there again. Again, he's taunting. And picking up Dad Seat. Oh, Dad Seat, we're close up, but PewDiePie ducks hit the forearm strike onto Dad Seat. Oh, and there's another one. And then Dad Seat again, we're close up, but again, PewDiePie ducks. And there's another spine buster right there. And that Dazzy always trying to rest in the corner. I don't think that's a good idea because people might have set for all oh, if I was going to run a knee strike. He hasn't that move in a while. 
Both shot pick up Dazzy, not Dazzy with the count right there. And oh, and it's a close line onto PewDiePie right there. PewDiePie should have caught for the running knee and like hit Dazzy in the court, but no, Dazzy fought back. And now he's cranking the head of PewDiePie once again. And now what is this? Just slamming down PewDiePie. Try to pick him back up. Well, no, Pewds, he's going after the arm of Dazzy. Wretched down the arm right there. Oh, what a disrespectful slap. And that slap setting up for the attitude driver right there. Is that a rope break? Is that a rope break? Oh, it's not a rope break with the cover right here. But Pete Dazzy managed to kick out from the attitude driver. Pewds cannot believe it. But now Pewds by set for the uh, bro fist or the macho man. No, I don't know what he's going to call for. But he's going for Irish to the corner. What else could Pewds be calling for on here on the top? Well, no, he's not calling for a freaking Macho Man. No, instead, he's got Dazzy in a tree of war position. Now, just slowly casual. He's calling the other corner. What the hell is he calling for here? What the hell is PewDiePie thinking of doing right here? He's got to say what he's calling for. Doing the sign of the cross. What the hell is he calling for here? Holy Jesus Christ. Coast to coast right there. Oh, my God. Fucking hell right there. That was fucking painful. That pretty much hurt both men. Now PewDiePie is slowly dragging away Dazzy. Is that going to cost him, however? Is that going to cost him, though? He took way too long to go for cover right here. Oh, shit. That was so fucking close. But it's a near fall. I think I knew it. I knew it cost him. I knew it fucking costed him. But no, and now PewDiePie got on. So what's he calling for here? He's not calling much man now, but instead he's going for Moonsault. Onto Dad City right there. Hit a Moonsault right there. And now he's slowly trying to pick up Dazzy. Wait a minute, Dazzy with a shoulder tackle onto PewDiePie. Wait, is Dazzy going to call for Is he going to call for his elbow? PewDiePie didn't call for the much of an elbow. Is he going to call for his elbow? Drop finishing. Wait, no, he's not. He's calling for shooting star press. Shooting star press. Dazzy should go for the cover. No, he was about to go for the cover. But PewDiePie escapes from the pity. But dig me. Oh, the famous sir. Nasty famous sir right there. Now Pewdiepie is going for the arm of Dazzy, going for the arm lock here, going for the arm but Dazzy trying to put his foot on the ropes, but he can't see the reach, he can't see the reach to the bottom rope, can Dazzy, is Dazzy going to submit to the arm bar here, Pewdiepie is trying to wretch it in tight, is Dazzy going to escape, oh he does not escape right there, and Bob has an uppercut by PewDiePie right there, and a strike, no, that did not happen, oh if I was going to bitch lasagna, but instead going after the arm of Dazzy, but Dazzy again with the lucky blue elbow pad of him, and his pick up, oh, he's got, PewDiePie up and he's going for a neck breaker, vintage neck breaker on the people. Oh shit, he's going on top rope. He's about to call for his elbow drop finish here. Here it comes, stand up. The elbow drop to PewDiePie. Dassey needs to go for the cover right here to become a free time Intercontinental Champion. No! PewDiePie kicks out. Oh, and Dassey's in disbelief. He couldn't do it. He couldn't fucking beat PewDiePie with the elbow. But now, Dad City needs to do something else. He's getting fired up here. He couldn't beat PewDiePie with the elbow. He needs to do more. What could he, what could he even do? Oh, shit. Nice count by PewDiePie. Oh, God. Kick to the back. And a double axe here to the back of Dad City. And now slowly pick up Dad City again. But Dad City hits a drop break onto PewDiePie. And go oh, close up. That didn't really connect well. But he managed to take out PewDiePie. And that's good for SCF to go for submission. Locked in the PewDiePie. Is PewDiePie going to tap onto his basic SCF? No, he escaped the STF right there. Oh, nice count by PewDiePie. No, knee strike, but no block by Dad City. A flying elbow. Big flying elbow by Dad City. Now Dad City's stomping the gut of PewDiePie. He's gone on top rope here. Slowly taking his time, however. Oh, PewDiePie slowly getting back up. He's getting, this is not the position that Dad City wanted here. As people gets back up, but oh shit, flying clothesline onto PewDiePie, catching him down. As Dassy slowly picking up PewDiePie again right here. He's gone for a sleeper. We're slowing things down now. Slowing things down the sleeper all here. And that's right, Dassy's watching the sleeper. Wait a minute, PewDiePie. PewDiePie using up all his strength. To break free from the sleep hold here. He breaks down the sleep hold right there. And oh, he's going for bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna onto Dad City. And he's going for the curse. The bitch lasagna to, enough to retain the inner Carnell championship here. No, Dad City managed to kick out just barely. Having make another near fall. Two. W2. Peepie. 
Let's figure out what could he do next to put away that city. He has him set up from the the middle right, the middle of the ring. And he's on top row. Can we see it? Could PewDiePie finally hit the big one? He calls for the Macho Man elbow. No, that city got the row out there just in the nick of time. And I pick it up. Pick up here for Olympic Slam for the cover. One, two. No, my God, PewDiePie just kicking out two. All you two. Ugh. God damn, that city almost had right there. But now he's setting up PewDiePie in the middle of the ring. One more. And uh, that city going on top right now. What the hell is this? PewDiePie struck the ref. That city's not realizing he's slowly getting onto the top right. But he's covering up much more help. But PewDiePie is struck the ref for some reason here. And, whoa, what the hell? That's a dingo. Well, he just attacked that city from the top. What the hell is this all about? Is this because... Is this because Dad C, like, you know, replaced him in the, uh, match? And now was this PewDiePie taking advantage of this. And he's picking up Dad C. He's going to fireman's care position. What an FC call for right here. Oh, my God. Fucking avalanche steamroller right there. And now picking up Dad C for the bright fist. The same move he took it. And dig it with a mega for the cover. One, two, three. And that is it. Oh, my God. And PewDiePie retains... The Icon Championship with the help of Endingo. Dingo attacking Dad C right there. That was very out of character for Endingo. There is PewDiePie still the Icon no Champion here. And what the fuck is because that Endingo is so upset that Dad C took his spot and that he couldn't get the match against PewDiePie. Well. That was very unexpected of Endinger. We never expected Endinger to do that before. But yeah, PewDiePie is still the Intercontinental Champion. That's he tried his best. He was about to finish it off and come a free time Intercontinental Champion. But no, it was all because of Endingo, you know, not being in the match. That's what happened. And PewDiePie is still the Intercontinental Champion here. But that's the end of part two. Stay to the part three. Where it will be the steel cage match between the marionette and Malachi Black for the Universal Championship.